so guys how are you doing uh this in this video we're going to recreate this now remember that this is the very first um qr code request we created and um, it doesn't have a qr code path so i want to just guess any of the new ones let's say number fifth one um i'm just looking for any of the, them that have a qr code very good okay so now we're good what we can do is um, i'm not looking for any fancy designs i just want to do basic stuff that looks okay and usable and um, that's it so first things first we need to remove these two ids we need to find this file this file is show.blade so if you come here go to um from your resources views qr code and we will see these um show fields this is the file that contains it and uh, the first thing we do is to remove the id we don't need it uh, we don't need the user id Well, we might need it, but only admin can see it. Generally, it's not the user ID we need. We, we need the user's full name, all right? And um, what else are we looking for? I think um, we'll get back to this. Let's just make sure that the website must be a URL. Okay, user ID. We'll get back to this, but it won't be user ID. It will be username here, name, or email. I think email will be better. Email. Okay, so call back URL, QR code path. Now what we're gonna do is to split this screen into two so that this QR code will be on one screen while the rest of the details of the product will be on another screen. Then you also have to know that um, not everybody needs to know these these like the call back URL. Um, needs to be seen by the person that created this and the admin so if somebody else is viewing this page they shouldn't see the callback url um what else shouldn't they see i think like created and updated all this they shouldn't see the status they shouldn't see it all right so we're good now first step is to put everything inside a div so create a div create a class and make it take half of the screen call md and then take only six of the screen and we close same thing we do for the rest so i'll put, push them to the side just one step then create this div and close then we can create another div create the div class give it call md6 so that it takes half of the screen again then we close div and we're good now this is where we're going to put the um, qr code path so if we scroll up a little we'll see the qr code path uh to me all we just need let's copy everything first I've, I've cut it out and pasted it here we don't need the actual path like we don't need to print out this remove this and we're good remove the qr code okay so we're good we will have to refresh this So everything we did worked well we have these these guys on one side then we have the qr code on the other so we have to remove this back button we don't need it and we need to rename, rename this to scan qr code with our app scan qr code and pay with our app, our app. so remember that we've not built this app so in this course you will eventually learn how to build mobile apps so it's a full power pack course you should share to your friends because at the end of the day it will make a lot of sense all right good now uh we'll try and um, see if we can arrange this in such a way that it will make sense first of all the product name should be up and um, what else i think this qr code path i think i should give it five so that it moves a little to the front and i'll remove this back button if I scroll up, I'm going to see a back button. Okay, the back button is not here. Remember that this file is being imported by this other file. So if we go to show blade, we'll see this file. And um, you'll see this link that it's the back button. Look at it. I'm the culprit, the back button. We, we, we delete this line. We go, the back button disappears. Refresh. And um, it's done. All right. Now we need to move this just a little. Um, and I'm just thinking if we come here. At the bottom make it close five and then um, one thing we can do is to pull right 
make it um, try to lock to the extreme reload makes sense perfectly so this one stops here there is space and we can see this perfect that's just what life is all about beautiful beautiful all right so um i want the product name to be first um what's the time okay i'm just checking out the time product name uh, product name all right product name goes first beautiful company name goes just on that product name we don't need company name to be um we just need this product name okay so we can just do something like small uh we'll place company company name small so all these things i'm doing just depends on your own sense of design i'll just do by company now um this has to show only if company name was specified so if there's no company name we can do if uh, is set if this one was set then we can display the company name if it's not set just ignore it we'll do end with okay cool beautiful beautiful so we'll move this move this back beautiful all right so let's go check out what it looks like we'll refresh okay um I think it's making sense now uh, the first thing is that the product name looks too small I think I should remove product name or just a sort of here make this a h1 instead of calling it a product name we're just gonna do h1 tag p if h1 is too big we're gonna use a smaller tag so I think h2 tag uh, we'll do h2 just to make it a little bigger um, is it too big? Is it too small? I think we just we should go down a little to H3 and see what H3 looks like. H3 makes sense, and I'm gonna stop this video here. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, one thing we can do is to make sure that this one starts on a different line. Um, DR. Just to make sure it starts on a different line. Oh, it has logged me out. Okay, so this is the product by Brenton. Beautiful. All right. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and uh, fix the rest.